Out of the 240 high school cheerleaders in Broward County, a state all-star squad, which will include four girls from Broward, is to be selected. How many different groups of four Broward cheerleaders can be chosen to join the, the state all-star squad? Okay, so key phrase here. How many different groups of four Broward cheerleaders can be chosen? So again, if it says how many, we're thinking of a counting question. We're trying to count up how many different options are available to us. Now, again, we should consider two main options first, fundamental counting rule versus combinations. And we should consider combinations first because it's often, often easy to eliminate. If, not, if, if it isn't eliminatable, then we know we should be able to use it. So let's look at the um, problem here and see if we can use combinations to solve it. It says, out of the 240 high school cheerleaders in Broward County, a state all-star squad, which will include four girls from Broward, is to be selected. So, it says how many different groups of four Broward cheerleaders can be chosen to join the state all-star squad. Let's think about this problem a little bit. Um, for it to be a combination, we would have to have a large set of something, and we would have to be choosing some subset. Well, it looks like we have that here, right? 240 high school cheerleaders, we're choosing a subset of four. So, I think that requirement is met. The only other thing to check then is to see if order matters. If order doesn't matter, if any order that is chosen in, um, will be the same result either way, as long as it's the same elements involved in the subset, um, if that's true, then it's a combination. So let's think about this real quick. Let's say we ended up having a group like, um, you know, Allison, Barbara, Carla, and Diana on our All Scar squad, right? Would it be the same if I changed it to Diana, Allison, Carmen, and Barbara, right? So assuming I said the same names there, I'm not sure if I did, but in other words, it's A, B, C, D, D, A, C, B. So it's the same four girls, but I just changed the order in which I named them on the squad. Does that still make the same squad of four girls? I think it does, right? It doesn't really matter. It's the same four people joining the all-star squad. And in that case, um, I think that this group would be considered the same as this group. And if that's the case, that means order doesn't matter. We meet the requirement that from a larger set, we're drawing a subset. And if order doesn't matter, it's a combination. So in order to solve this problem, we better choose the combination technique. All right, so that's great. We don't have to do the fundamental counting rule. In fact, it wouldn't work here. We have to do instead the combination rule. So in order to do that, we're going to take the big number first, the larger number, the 240. We'll write that down. And then we want to put a C to represent combination. So 240, choose four. So out of 240 girls, choose four to join the all-star squad. And that's the uh, proper solution to the problem. Now, you could use your calculator to evaluate this, or you could do it by hand. If you tried to do it by hand, you'd have to do 240 factorial. That's the big number on top factorial. And then the small number on the bottom factorial. And then the difference between these two. So uh, 240 take away four is 236. And you would put that on the bottom factorial. Now, to evaluate that from there, you actually would take the 240 and start counting it down. So 240 times 239 times 238 times 237 times 236 factorial. I'm stopping here because I have 236 factorial at the bottom of that fraction. And now 4 factorial in front of that can be just written as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then what happens is that 236 factorial can cancel with that 236 factorial. And I have these four numbers multiplied divided by these four numbers multiplied. And that will finish the problem. You could, of course, go through and cancel some of these things, right? So we could do that. It's okay. For example, 237 is divisible by 3. Um, I know that because if I add... Um, 2 and 3 together, I get 5, and then add that to 7, I get 12, and 12 is divisible by 3, therefore 3 goes into 237. That's a nice trick for divisibility by 3, and uh, 2 will certainly go into any even number, so that could go into 238 or to 240, um, but 4 will go into 240 because that will go in there 60 times. Um, so there's a lot of different things I can do to cancel beforehand if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm just going to use my calculator from here and multiply it all out and do the division. But please be aware, if you want to simplify your arithmetic a little bit beforehand, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Okay, so let's do 240 times 239 times 238 times 237. And we get this huge number in my calculator. I'm not even going to bother to write it down. I'm just going to hit divide by uh, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 
Um, of course, we can do that in our heads. So we can say 12 times 2 is 24 and put that in, or we could just multiply it all out. I'm going to put in the calculator in parentheses so you would see how they do it if you wanted to do it that way. It'd be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, close it up. And when we're finished, we get this very large number. But here's the solution. It ends up being 1, 3, 4, 8, 1, 0, 3, 4, 0. Okay, so that's essentially 134,810,340 different possible groups of four you can choose from 240 cheerleaders. And that's it.